about boring. That is one of the most boring classes I've ever had in my life. I mean, we just sit there looking at these old dead frogs underneath this microscope, right? And Mr. Fisher goes on and on about how marvelous and beautiful biology is. He's got these movies all about frogs, too. I tell you, if I ever go into the frog business, I'll have it made. I had a class just like that. I thought I would go out of my mind. Hey, Eddie. Listen, I don't want to uh, bug you guys, but you're not supposed to bring your food in here. Ah, oh, gee, fella. Thanks a lot. It's really swell of you not to want to bug us. Yeah, we appreciate it. We really do. Look, it doesn't matter to me, but if Mr. Charney comes by, well, you've had it. Oh, great. We're really glad it doesn't matter to you. Could you believe it? I'm still hungry. I believe it. Thanks. By the way, uh, how's your new friend? Who do you mean? Hey, your new friend. What's her name? Shayna? Yeah, Shayna. Is she gonna come by and cheer us up again today? How would I know? Oh, you seem to spend a lot of time with her lately. I do not spend a lot of time with her. We just happen to be in a couple of the same classes. Why are you so touchy? I bet she just shines in those classes. Is there something wrong with having a brain? Well, there's one thing I can say for Shana. She sure is skinny. Yeah, and I keep getting this impression like she's rich. Did you say rich? She is, though. Why'd they put her in this school? Is she, Lisa? What? Well, your new friend, Shana, is she rich? I never asked. Well, where does she live? Maybe that'd be a clue. I don't know. Somewhere up above Mill Road. Then you do know. Is it nice? I don't know. I've never been there. If you were my friend, I'd find out whether she's rich or not. Does she have her own car? Yes, she has her own car. So what? So she is rich. And you knew it all along. Shayna, Shayna. You know, that's kind of unusual. What kind of a name do you think it is? Silly name, that's what kind it is. Do you always have to put everybody down? And anyway, I wish you'd stop just calling her my friend. I mean, you've all been with her too. Well, it was you that brought her in. Anne invited her back. You told her where we'd be today, didn't you? All right. She's just gonna stop by so I can pay her back some money I borrowed. If she's so rich, why give it back? It's dumb to make such a big deal out of it. You're the one that's making the big deal, Lisa. Why are you guys giving Lisa such a hard time? Why? <clears throat> We're Lisa's old friends, right? So, now she's got a new friend, right? So why make her feel uptight about it? What was her name again? Her name is Shana. Shana, Shana, yeah, that's right. Shana. She's kind of interesting, you know? She's, uh, I don't know, different. It might be interesting uh, having a friend who, uh, does things like collect for charity. I mean, it might be a really interesting change. Well, here she comes now, little Miss Foxy. She's wearing a dress. Well, hi, Shane. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lisa. Oh, I've been running all day. I just talked to my mom. She said you phoned me a little while ago, right after I left. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Here's the two bucks I borrowed. Oh, listen, you don't have to pay me now. I can wait. I don't like to owe people anything. 
Why are you dressed like that? Oh, this. I hate it. It's been altered three times and I still hate it. My mom laid it on me. Well, she's having this cocktail party tonight and she said I had to show up for it and I had to wear a dress. And I won't have time to change after school, so I ran home a little while ago to put it on. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. Believe me, nothing's wrong, no. Yeah, everything's cool. Yeah, terrific. Yeah, Lisa just wasn't feeling so hot for a while. She's okay now. Right, Lisa? <clears throat> uh, Shana, could I ask you a personal question? Well, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> uh, are you uh, going with anybody? No, I'm not. Good. In fact, that's just great. You see, there's this guy I know. He, he just graduated, and he's seen you around, and he really wants to meet you. You know? Listen, he's a, he's a super guy. In fact, he's just about my best friend. What do you say? Well, I don't know. Oh, come on, Shana. All you have to do is meet him. I mean, he really is a winner. Yeah, he's, he's good looking and smart and he's interested in the same kind of stuff you are. I mean, you'd like him. I mean, really like him. I want you to meet him. Okay? Well, if you say so, okay. Great. You won't be sorry. Believe me. Hey, Eddie, what's his name? Oh, yeah. Robbie. Robbie Baker. Yeah, I was just thinking that we could all uh, get together and go someplace, maybe Saturday afternoon, and uh, you and Robbie could get to know each other. Hey, you know what we could do? We could all meet at my place. My parents won't be home. <laughs> We could go swimming and play billiards and everything. Terrific, terrific. That's just great. How about it, you guys? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Dynamite idea. Sure, why not? All right, then. About 3 o'clock, okay? Yeah, great. Listen, I gotta run. The address is 2077. Oh, Lisa knows it, right? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, then. I'll get Robbie, and we'll see you then. Okay, great. Shana? Yeah? Nothing. See you around. <laughs> Robbie Baker? He just graduated, all right, from junior high. <laughs> Good looking. Your best friend. How could you keep him straight? Look, I was completely serious. No, I think those two are made for each other, huh? We're not going up to her house, right? Right. But Robbie Baker, he is going to her house, right? Right. I wish I could see them when they meet. <laughs> I don't know. Who's going to be the most surprised? Robbie. He can't tell the difference. He doesn't even see good. <laughs> Maybe she'll invite Robbie to her friend's next cocktail party. Well, that would be some scene. Well, it may be a little bit awkward at first, but who knows? Maybe later they'll make out. Yeah, you know, maybe they see something in each other that we just don't see. <laughs> What forces work to hold a group together? What tends to pull it apart? What are the rewards for membership in such a group as that shown in the film? What personal price do the individuals pay for membership? Under the unspoken threat of rejection from the group, Lisa betrays her new friend. Under group pressures and sanctions, people will do things they wouldn't do on their own. Can group pressures enable you to do positive things which you might not be capable of alone? For instance, if you're an athlete, can team encouragement make you perform better than you would without it? The group in the film makes a big point of rejecting the usual standards of dress, behavior, and style. But are they all that non-conforming? Or have they simply substituted their own unwritten rules and standards? What happens to members who disobey them? How do you think the group would have reacted if Lisa had chosen in favor of her new friend? Or what if another member had then sided with Lisa? How do you think Lisa would justify going along with Eddie's cruel joke on Shana? 
Would she perhaps tell herself that she doesn't really like Shana after all? Torn between personal values and those of your group, which would you act on? Now, most of us would like to think that we choose our personal values. We all belong to groups, families, schools, circles of friends, communities, nations, and we all conform, probably more than we think. We conform or we join new groups with rules and standards which we prefer and conform to them. Is it possible to live a social life without conformity? Some critics of our culture say that Americans are taught too great an emphasis on being liked and accepted. Are we too afraid of seeming different? Do that many people speak up for their personal values? 